It's Friday the 23rd of November 2018. Welcome to New Vision TV News around Uganda. I am Ruth Inasaj and these are the stories making headlines across the country starting off today's bulletin is a story from Bugwedi district. Now veteran musician Rachel Magola who will hold will hold sorry the NRM flag for the forthcoming contest for the woman member of parliament seat. Magola got 13,172 votes in the primaries followed by Amina Nalugoda with 6,691 votes. Now Rose Birawa with 5,667 votes and Monika Musuika with 1,409 votes. For the Iganga LC5 chairperson seat, Shafra uh, Shafia Muziransa won the NRM primaries with 15,332 votes. Michael Chibikwa, the former LC5 uh, vice chair chairperson of Iganga, polled 5,915 votes. Now Peter Balunya Muzei got 980 votes. Uh, Yazidi Muwaya got 2,568 and Samuel Palijala garnered 2,591 votes. Magola, daughter of former minister for Loyal Triangle, Beatrice Zilaba Mzale, had earlier contested thrice and lost in the primaries for the same seat. Now, before shifting to the new Bugwedi, Magola promised to, uh, to unite all the, all the supporters who have been divided as a result of the primaries. Primaries. However, the losers have declined to concede defeat. Nalugoda and Bilawa have voted to contest as independents. Nalugoda says the polls were marred by voter bribery, intimidation of, of her supporters, and ballot staffing. Let's come back to Kampala where the Moft of Uganda, Sheikh Ramadan Mubaja has scooped the first class Moder of Egypt award for being a champion of dialogue and global peace. The award ceremony took place at Al Haza Conference Center in Egypt on Tuesday. While handing, handing over the medal to Mubaja, the Egypt president, Albel Fatah El Sisi, commended him for serving humanity and imploring him to maintain the standard. The Uganda Muslim Supreme Council spokesman Haji Inserio Mutumba said the MUFT also received a certificate for his contribution towards global peace. Others who got the medal included Sheikh Sherikabi Kazi Oraza, the Supreme MUFT of Kazakhstan, among others. The Deputy MUFT of Uganda, Sheikh Mohammed Semambo, employed the Muslim community to join the move to celebrate the award saying it was not his but for the entire Muslim community the news around Uganda continues but let us take a break and look at what is making headlines into this copy of the new vision We also have the Kampala Sun and this is what is making headlines in your favorite copy that comes out every Friday. And for those who cannot access the hard copy of these two cop of these two papers, you can subscribe to the link on your screen. There you find the e-paper. When you subscribe to this link, you get all the products published by Vision Group. You're still watching the news around Uganda. I am Ruth Inasa. Just continue looking at more stories making the headlines across the country. Now from Dokolo, uh, the woman who claimed to be 130 years in Dohoro has finally been re uh, registered in the social assistance grant for empowerment siege. Uh, scheme, sorry, under the expanding social protection program. Clementina Akolo had failed to join the scheme since she did not have a national identity card. However, it was all joy for Akolo after undergoing the registration process successfully by the National Registration Authority, NURA, at their offices in the horror town.
Closing off the bulletin is a story from Lira District. Now, members of the Lango Parliamentary Group have expressed concern over the manner in which journalists working with Unity FM or radio station in Lira were handled by security agencies amid the ruckus that shocked Lira Town on Saturday. Now, it had to take the intervention of the Uganda People's Defense Forces to calm the situation after police got overwhelmed by rowdy locals involved in attacks against Asian traders in the region. Now, it, sparked, uh, it was sparked by the alleged killing of 11-year-old Dixon Okello, a pupil of Alito Primary School in Kole District on no on November 9th, residents claim that two men of Asian descent operating Lira uh, strangled Okello and accused police of trying to cover up the crime, sparking rage among the locals. During the violent protests, shops were looted and goods stolen as tear gas and live bullets were fired to contain the irate locals. And that's the news around Uganda. I am Ruth Inaseja. Remember, you can get more news updates and other programs here on New Vision TV by visiting our website, which is www.newvision.co.ug forward slash video. You can also find us on social media. Our Facebook page is The New Vision. Our Twitter handle is at New Vision Wire. Our Instagram handle is at New Vision Wire. And you can subscribe to our YouTube channel, which is in New Vision TV. You can also catch up with me on my Twitter handle. I am Ruth the Voice. Thank you for watching. See you next week.